read this again. How many acres are in a, are in a tract identified as the north one half of the southeast one quarter of the southwest one quarter of the north one half? What I shared with you is whenever you see, whether they use tract or piece of land, whatever, whatever it is that they use there, you want to consider that as a section. And we already said a section has 640 acres. 640 acres in a section. So now, what do we do with that? This is how simple this is. And once you get this, trust me, it's like riding a bike, you never have to worry about it again. All you gotta remember is 640. And then you divide by the denominators. You just divide by the denominators. So 640 divided by two equals what? 320, thank you, sir. 320, 320 divided by four equals what? Oh, you can shout it out. 80, that's 80. 80 divided by four, that's, okay, that's 20, right? 80 divided by four, that's 20. Now, 20 divided by two. Equals what? 10. The answer is 10. That is, yes, sir. My question is um, regarding the order. I started from the last uh, and one half, because that seems to be the larger portion of the track line. The question is, what if we start from the opposite end? Another one starts from the two. The answer does make a difference. In this case, it doesn't matter, no matter what case it is. I mean, if the, if the portion were different, the first, second, and third, it wouldn't have okay, okay. All right. No difference. No difference. And the beauty here is the number is only going to be either one of two numbers, two or four. Either it's split in half or in a quarter. So those are the only two numbers you're going to have to divide by. Okay? That's that simple. So please, try not to make it more complicated. I know sometimes it seems so easy that uh, it's too easy to be, to be true. So that is how you would do that problem. But there's a trick that some test writers will throw in there, right? And how you would avoid that trick is by doing this. So this is what you need to see. So I'm gonna show you the trick so you don't get a trick anymore, right? So let's say now, instead of that question mark being right there, let's assume there, there were a comma here. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Let's say there was a comma, and then whenever you see the word and, okay? Whenever you see the word and, let's say now, what that indicate, they're introducing a new section, a new section. So let's say now we have south one fourth, north one half, south one fourth, Oh, I've already had south, so let's do southeast now. Southeast, doesn't matter. One fourth, northwest, one half, question mark. You see it? So now, what they're doing is introducing a new section. It's like saying, what is this corner of this room and this, the corner of that room? Meaning you're adding two rooms together. It's just that both rooms happen to be the same size. Right? So now, what do we do now? 640 divided by the denominators. Okay, the denominators. So we go with four divided by. So 640 divided by four gives you what now? You say 160? Okay, 160, thank you, sir, divided by two. 
160 divided by 2 equals 80. I heard 80. No. Okay. Divided by 4. 20. Good. And divided by 2. 10. So now you have these two numbers. You simply add them together to give you what? 20. Make sense? So if you had the word and, you simply start over with a new section, and then you, you go through the same process, and then you add the, the numbers, the end numbers together. That is simply if you see the word and.